In this video, we'll learn about landing pages. Landing pages essentially are pages in your shop which do not appear in the navigation. They can only be reached by linking to them or otherwise directly accessing the URL of the page. They are, for example, useful for exclusive content, like promotions leading to a page on your shop you only want to communicate to specific customers via newsletter. Or, as another example, a 404 error page. Let's get into it and create a landing page to see what we can do. First, we'll go to Catalogs, Categories. You will likely know this menu from a previous video already. Right here, we have a drop-down for the landing pages in our store. Currently, we don't have one. We can change this set fact by clicking on the button right below, Add Landing Page. As usual, the first mandatory thing we're faced with is picking a name. Let's go with LP Test. To the right of it, we can activate or deactivate our page. If it was deactivated, it would be unavailable and could not be reached, of course. So let's set it to active. Next up, we have to select which sales channels we want the page assigned to. We could also enter tags if we wanted to. The second part of the menu concerns search engine optimization settings. We can enter a meta title, a meta description, SEO keywords, and finally, a SEO URL. The URL is required because otherwise there'd be no realistic way to reach the landing page. Note that the part we add here is added after our already existing URL. So if our shop was demo.com and we wanted our landing page to be reached at demo.com slash lptest, we'd simply write lptest here instead of the full URL. After we're done with that, we'll go to the Layouts tab. You're likely familiar with this already as well from previous videos in this section of the user training. Here we can assign a layout or create a new one. We already get a layout prepared, so we'll select that one and click Save. As usual, we are now presented with a preview of all the blocks of the shopping experience and could make edits in this menu as well without having to go through the dedicated editor. After saving the landing page, it's now ready and we could link to it already. And with this, we conclude the video about landing pages.